Hi everyone, it's Sandra, and I'm checking back in on a new worm bin that I started. I'll put the date up of when I exactly started this. I started this for a neighbor, and I counted out exactly 100 worms. So they were big enough to count, so they were adult-ish, I will say. And I pulled them out of finished castings, and I think I pulled out about another 25. And so I started doing this for my neighbor because she's in a renovation right now. She doesn't have time to start a worm bin, but she's interested in starting one. So I did this and I decided to start it with all new cardboard bedding. And instead of using finished bedding that had already processed a little bit to kind of show her through a series of videos, because obviously she doesn't have the bin in her possession yet what the worm bin is doing. So this is the bin uh, and I feed it very lightly. There are only 125 worms in here. I'll put the dimensions of this tote uh, on the screen. And so my primary concern with this is a pre in a previous video, I talked about the moisture control in a new bin and I do still add a lot of moisture misting the top of this bin frequently because despite having bubble wrap that is pretty much uh, corner to corner, this bin does dry out. Uh, the worms, 125 worms in a bin of this size, you know, I use the food in the center here and you can kind of see how much more dense um, the material was for me to lift. I, I use the fact that the putting the food in the center, congregates the worms in a central location. There some worms are. And by doing that, uh, they'll meet and greet and hopefully reproduce because they will recognize they are in a much larger system than um, their population can, uh, can um, handle. Uh, so hopefully they're reproducing. It's very difficult to see cocoons in a system full of yellowish, uh, yellowish to brown cardboard. But I am excited to think that one day I will go in here and I will see cocoons. And so, you know, one of the things uh, I, I wanted to show people is you can start a bin with relatively few worms. I've never gone and checked bait stores or anything, but I hear people talk about, can I just get worms from a bait store? And they sell them apparently in like, little cups of 25 or 50 worms. And I'm like, absolutely, look at this. Here's a bin, it's up and running with 125 worms. And yeah, it's slow. You know, you can barely see some blackness starting to accumulate there in the feeding area, which those are castings starting to build. Uh, I'm not having to water this bin quite as much. Again, shows that both the cardboard and the accumulation of castings is starting to hold moisture better. And I will have to, at some point, uh, really cut back on, on the amount of water I'm adding, uh, even to the point of not adding water at all. And look at on the bottom there, there, there is some definite castings starting to accumulate. Uh, but I, so I wanted to show you what a new bin looked like. 